Welcome back to my channel, it's Jo here. Today's topic is decluttering and I've already talked about decluttering um, a little bit in my previous video about minimalism and I will put it up here if you're interested in watching it. But today I'm going to go deeper into the topic of decluttering because I think this is something really important that is a part of minimalism. But also there's the question about how to do this more sustainably. The first point I want to I wanna tell you here is that some people really have natural, I would say, gift of decluttering things and some people just have to learn this. And in this video I want to show you a little bit how you can do this and what strategy I use to declutter my things. So now I'm going to go into the steps or into the most important things that um, yeah, that make the decluttering a successful um, action. So I always have like several decluttering sessions, I would say, in, in a year, maybe two or three times in a year. And mostly I do them because I just have free time or because I want to, um, I don't know, because I just, sometimes I just have the feeling that I have to do that and yeah, like the urge even. I always go through thematically. For example, I do on one day, I do like the wardrobe or my bookshelf and then go step by step. So really having a little bit of a plan, you know, having an idea what categories maybe even do you want to look at um, a specific time. So otherwise, I think it can get really messy because you have like all the things together and you don't know where it belongs. So really going through thematically is something that I would do and yeah I always do that so it is working really well. A really really important point is look at this as yes yeah, some free time you know something that um, you're giving your time to and it is important for you and I always like to play some music it's like decluttering party even. I like to see it like a way of getting away from the day-to-day -day life and doing just something um, different and away from all the stress because then I have the feeling that this is the only thing I'm doing right now, I'm not thinking about anything else and can concentrate. So now I want to get to my strategy, how I declutter. It's not a traditional way of decluttering because I think this is not sustainable. And what I mean about traditional, I mean about this that I don't like doing decluttering in the way that, oh, I'm looking at these things and the things that I don't like I just put into, into another box and and yeah what happens with this mostly it ends up in the garbage so when you don't have like really a plan what are you going to do with the things that you don't want anymore so now I'm gonna go through all the points of my idea of how decluttering can be successful and the first point here is that I want you to imagine how the place you are decluttering will look like in the future or how you want it to look like in the future after you have decluttered. So I think this is really, um, sometimes it's like quite difficult to just imagine what you will not need, what will you need. But I think this is sometimes really helpful just to have like just a little bit of an idea of how many space you want or how many things you want. and. I think this helps. You can even do like a, a little drawing of, for example, how your wardrobe will look like when you open it, what will feel, and you can also think about how will you feel when you do that, and is it a good thing or not. So you have the imagination of how you want to the things or the spaces to look like. Then you already have like the categorization, as I said, for example, your bookshelf or your wardrobe. So the next step is you want to think about why do you want to declutter in the first place. Why is your motivation or reason to do that? And also you can think about what is essential in your life and then automatically you know what you, do, you don't need in your life. I think it's, it's always good to write things like that down because then you have it um, in front of you and you can also look at it um, at a le later time. So for that I've done a little document on Notion. So I have everything on track. It's, it's like it's like a little template. I thought maybe you would like to use it all as well. You can also download it and yeah, you can also adapt it. So I have these different categories that I have in my room that I want to size down in. 
then in, in this capital letters here, I just wrote my motivation to do that and what I want to get rid of and why. So this is really, I think, important point because when you have like a reason to do this, I think you're more, um, yeah, like more motivated to, to really um, get through this because when you don't have like, like a really important reason to do something, you just don't. That's why I think it's, it's really important to write things like that down. It's like your goal, you know, it's like your goal for this specific category of decluttering. When you have like the prepared reason for every category, of course, then you have to go there and really put everything out. And then you can go through the things and yeah, just see what do you want and what do you don't want. At the top of this template, I'll also put, put this little sketch that I've made. What questions do I ask myself when I do decluttering? And most of the times they are really things like that. Do I need it? Have I used it in the past year or even past months or whatever? And then the next question is, can I reuse it for something different or maybe in a different situation? Then has it has this item sentimental value to me? This is really personal and nobody can say if something is sentimental for you or not. So this is sometimes not an easy question, but I think and an important one. These are like the questions I always ask myself while decluttering. It's like elimination of things, you know? And when you have the things on your side, which you don't need or yeah, just won't need or use anymore, then you can write these items on the list. And for that, I just did like this items list here. I always just list everything that I don't need so I have like a clear goal of this and this and this I don't need anymore I want I want to to get rid of it and the thing about sustainably decluttering is that you don't want just to throw it out because this is not sustainable because maybe someone will use it or maybe you could use it in a different way so that's why I do this list and yeah and when I have done this this items list I also can write a little goal of mine and what do you really want in this because I've, I've seen all the things that I have what I don't like and what I don't need then I can write my goals what is essential in my life for this category so I always write this these goals and here also as well and the next thing you want to do is just imagine or, or make a plan for what is going to to do to happen to this, these items Maybe it's like really something small, like here I have my category of pens. For me, it's just like the only option is use it up. So yeah, I just I just want to, to use it up in a way that is sustainable because just throwing out a pen that is totally functioning is not it's, it doesn't make sense. So I just want to to um, use up all the pens that I don't like for several different like um, maybe scratches or. Uh, sketches or something like that so for nothing really important the thing is i always make like a little arrow here so i can write um the reason or the place it has to go so for example for a pen it was it would be use um use it up but for example for a book you just want to give someone else the opportunity of reading the book so you want to give it to a second hand shop or maybe there are like this little bookshelves in several places you can exchange or maybe you want to exchange with friends or family and things like that and always it's like a plan for a thing so this is really something that helps um, declutter in a sustainable way because you really have a plan for everything that you have everything that that you want to get rid of so as you see i have here um, several categories and you see that I always write some goals mostly two or three goals why I want to do that or what I want to achieve and write things on it and also the ticks the box are of course for this when you when you have get rid of it and you can take it off so this is a really great feeling when you have less and less stuff. So I really think writing down what's going to happen to, to a single item is really important because it's, it's not always possible to, to get rid of it at this particular moment because sometimes you don't have any more time or you don't know what to do with that. And putting this in your list, I think helps you to keep track of this. And even if you if you forget about um, this item that you want to, that, that you 
wanted to, to get rid of, you still know what you can do with this and not priming it out into the garbage. So this is really a good, good thing to, to look at this list several, like multiple times. And when the right moment comes, you can just donate the, the item, sell it or whatever you want to do with it. So this is something I really like to do and helps me um, keep track of all the things that I don't want anymore. And as you, as you see in, in the content table, I've, I have done this for every single category I have that I want to get rid of things in. You can just do whatever you like. This is like only the list for, for my room because I just have control over my room. There are all the things that, that I've gone through once or several times and put things on the list so I can keep track of all the things that I don't want anymore and someone else could benefit from it. So I think this is really important to, to declutter in a really conscious way and not just putting things into the garbage because you don't want needs anymore. So I hope you liked this video and could gain some insight in how I declutter things sustainably or how you could also declutter sustainably in the future. If you liked this video, I, I'd really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and yeah, you could also subscribe to my channel if you like it here and I will see you in the next week's video. Bye.